All right, let's crack into this real quick. Cause you know, we've already talked about this kind of stuff before getting auto approvals. I hop on at least once a month, throw you guys some ASINs to help you go out and get auto approved. And right now is a particularly good time because it seems like Amazon's floodgates are wide open. Okay. 20 approvals yesterday, six already just this morning in the past hour. Now, if you're not familiar with auto approvals, it's simply just being able to uh, sell a product, get approval to sell that product without having to submit invoices. It's a process that's really simple and easy. You just click a couple buttons and it does happen for new sellers. Personally, guys, I've been auto approved in over a thousand different brands. And this may, I actually started to keep a record of the ASINs that I used in order to get those auto approvals for all of these different brands. There's May, June, July, and the latest here on August. So if you want access to this list, check out the list links in the description all right so take the list of asins copy the asin right there take it over to your amazon seller account over at the add a product page paste that right in search for it and apply to get approved yours won't say that you can sell it yours will say get approval click a couple buttons and then boom hopefully you'll get something that looks like this your selling application is approved so here's some of those recent brands man just from this morning and then yesterday's as well uh, 26 brands so far in just 24 hours. So I come across a lot of these brands because I'm doing a, a lot of online arbitrage. This is the latest one that I just uh, got approval for. And now this product in particular is not something that's going to make me profit, right? I got a question in the Facebook group the other day when I was posting about auto approvals is why would I want to get approved on this particular product if it wasn't profitable? And the reason is because I'm not necessarily looking to sell this particular product. I want to sell the brand though. I want to be able to sell the brand because then you can start to dig down little rabbit holes. Maybe this one uh, isn't profitable. But maybe this one here is maybe these other ones. Are. And I can start to look deeper into all of these products, products that are related, products that other people are already buying, products that are sponsored, things like that. I can go out and start to look deeper down these little rabbit holes for these products that are going to make me profit. That is why you want to get auto approved in as many brands as possible. The more brands you can sell, the more sourcing opportunities you're going to have. So run and get auto approved right now. Go and get that list of ASINs and try it because Amazon seems to approving me in everything. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website and there is a free Facebook group that you should join. Go ahead and look in the description for all those helpful links. I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace. If you are a brand new Amazon FBA seller or you want to learn how to start selling on Amazon FBA, you want to get into selling used media books, CDs, DVDs, you want to start doing some retail arbitrage, some online arbitrage. If you want to learn more about all this awesome stuff and how you can make money on Amazon and make money online in general, look in the description. There's going to be a ton of links to help you get started. There's going to be some free resources, some free trainings, and also some other paid stuff, some good softwares, some good tools, everything that I use to run my Amazon FBA business. If you are a new seller, you want to know where to start, look in the description, check out those links.